Red fox has been spotted roaming in the Saddlebrook, uh, Saddlebrook and Bridlewood subdivisions in Lafayette. Neighbors there seeing that fox. They say that it appears to be sick and could die, they're afraid, if it's not treated soon. News 18's Marvin Bill spoke with neighbors today on their plans to try to capture that fox. Marvin? Neighbors say the fox looks extremely ill. Julie Cassetta has teamed up with others in the area to set up a trap to capture the fox so it can get the medical attention it needs. I thought it was a coyote. People living in the Saddlebrook Bridlewood subdivisions have noticed this animal roaming their neighborhood for about a month. People were wondering what this animal was because it was really hard to tell, even some experts didn't know. It was later determined that it was a fox suffering from a severe case of mite mange. After talking to experts, they said that um, once mange sets in and they lose all their hair, they um, kind of look like that, bigger. Mite mange is a skin disease caused by parasitic mites. Executive Director for Wildcat Wildlife Center Carol Blackader says this isn't the only fox roaming around Lafayette. So there are rural foxes as well as other animals and there are urban foxes and opossums and raccoons and so forth. They have learned to adapt to the urban areas. Blackader says because of urban development, seeing foxes in those areas isn't as uncommon as it used to be. Neighborhoods, when they are built, put in all these culvert systems everywhere. So the urban foxes are seen a lot more in these urban neighborhoods. Julie Cassida says because the fox looks so sick, she and other neighbors have put together a plan to catch it. That's what we're in the process of doing now, trying to set up like a, a feeding um, uh, yeah. pattern where, where we can find out where he is. Blackader says people can safely capture a sick wild animal, but they should first talk to an expert. If you see something, call it in. Yeah, okay. yeah. I can talk to these people about what they can do and what they shouldn't do. Blackader says if you see a sick or injured wild animal, you can call the Wildcat Wildlife Center for advice. You can find numbers to Wildcat Wildlife Center, Animal Control, and DNR on our website at WLFI.com. Marvin Bills, News 18. All right, Marvin, thank you, and thanks to some local moms, newborns,